All right, so let's try this. I don't know how this is going to look, but let's try this. Okay, this is a um, uh, pale sage. So let's just base these little flowers here in a pale sage. Okay. All right. And then let's take, um, this is a sap green light. And with sap green light, I'm going to just kind of shade the insides a little bit here. Shade the insides just a touch here. Okay. closer. Well, that's fine. I guess you could see. Maybe a little bit, huh? Okay. Then what I want to do is let's take a, uh, a moss green. And with the moss green, let's give a little bit of shade to these guys. So it's got three layers of color on here, okay? Do the same on here. All right. Okay, just give it a little bit of love here to these little guys. Kind of give a little bit of a shadow here on the outside edge just to see if I like the shadow on the edge or not. I'm not sure yet. Okay, I don't think I will. I'll just leave it like that because I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to do another one here. Just do it exactly the same. The pale sage first. Do them all. Just do them all exactly the same way. The light one, then the medium one. Okay. Then let's do the dark one again. do these, just do all. I wonder if I want to vary the flowers. Um, I think I want them to all be the same, I think, to make them. Yeah, because it's the same kind of a thing. I think I'll just do them all the same. So just, let's just, so just do all the flowers like that. Right? So do all the flowers all the same. Okay? Yeah, so I'm finding the best way to do that when you're doing these flowers, just so you know, um, would be to, um, I'm going to take uh, this canary yellow and then put your canary yellow in the middle of this. And if you want, you can maybe put a little bit, maybe if you want, on just the outside edge of a couple, you know, and a couple on the, on the edges of the leaves, just to brighten up. And if you don't want to get bored doing these, I would just turn on your TV or something or a nice radio and just uh, do all the flowers, you know, because there's a lot of flowers there. So just, um, you know, get them all done real nice um, and just take your time, put on some music and do all the flowers the same, um, just the way I showed you, okay? And then when, you come, when, we, when we come back, all the flowers will be done and we're going to do all the drapes, okay? Have fun! Alright, so now I just did all the flowers, um, you know, just hopefully you got them all done the same way, just did all the flowers. It's going to be about half an hour or so. Alright, so now um, let's do the 
really pretty drapes. So I want to kind of do um, like a two-tone type uh, drape. So let's do, um, let's try a nice a light, um, let's take a lilac, I'm thinking. Uh, is there one? Yeah, let's take a lilac. And just really light. Let's just lightly go around here, very lightly. With this lilac here. I wanted to see if there was a... Um, I was kind of, oh, well, I have an idea here, but, well, yeah, I think I, I do. Let's take this um, lavender also, and the lavender, let's take a little bit of lavender. Okay, so put the lilac towards the bottom, and then let's take lavender, but very lightly first, because I don't know how I'm going to want to do this yet. I want to... Give it a nice, cause green um, looks nice with a with this with purples. Um, but I'm gonna just let's see. So let's take this is the lavender. So let's first use this first, cause this is lighter. So I'm just gonna I'm going the the way that the drapes are going right now. So see, just go the way that the drapes are going to create a nice smooth base. So they kind of look like nice smooth drapes. Okay, is that close enough? Or a little closer? Okay. See how I'm just going the same way here of, of the drapes. Up and down, very nice. And once your pencil gets smooth because it's you've already kind of flattened it out, just stick with that stick with that smooth side of your pencil. Don't twist it around and because then you'll get too many really sharp lines. We want to keep it smooth. Okay. So let's just fill in this area here. Alright. Let's fill it in. Alright. Okay, so now we got that. I'm not sure if I want to keep that in a different color or not. So for now, let's just leave it like that. Okay, what I want to do now is I want to create a ruffle type of a look. So let's darken this. Let's darken this up like a little, make it like a, like a ruffle here. All right, like it, so it comes all the way up here. All right, and we're gonna just darken this a little bit. Shade that in. Okay. Okay, we're gonna darken that even further, but for now, let's just, Let's get a couple of these in here, just so we can have a few little ruffles going here, and then we'll do maybe one, another bigger one in here. All right, just keep the line going smooth, as if it's kind of bunched up. You know how drapes have little wrinkles in them. Okay. This one, maybe we won't go all the way up on that one. Okay. And then this one here will come down maybe about here. Okay. Follow that one along. Okay, so now we got little ruffles here. And then uh, uh, what we need to do is we need to a, an illusion here of some ruffles on this side too. Like little ruffles, you know. Okay, so that that's one. So now now let's take the um the lilac. Now with the lilac, 
Um, let's start make darkening it up here. Let's go up the bottom a ways here. Start. Let's start giving a little bit of shade up the bottom here. Okay. Um, just because the bottom's going to have be a little bit darker as it comes up the bottom here. All right. Now I want to give it. Um, starts getting lighter, but in this area here, I want to really kind of darken where these creases are. Okay, so we can have the illusion that it's really bending. We need to really start putting in a little bit more shade. Okay, so let's just just go along the edges here. Out of here, follow along. So like the line is, you know, your imaginary line coming down here. Okay, this goes on the inside here. Darker here. Darker. All right, and then um, on this side here, we need to really get so you just go right along the inside of that. All right, so now we've got that one going. Now we have to get a little bit more serious here with the darkness. Let's get some dark purple. So now with the dark purple, let's start. Really get some shading going here. Okay. Be careful because it gets dark now. Let's go on the inside of the drape here and start bringing in some other color here. And then we want to dark here, but then let's lighten that in here. Lighten that here. All right, like so. Okay. Okay. Let's do the top now. Let's start giving a little shadow up in here. So just bring this down a little bit here. All right, and then let's get this dark in here. Just go up and down in here because this is now make it darker over here. Because this is a little bit more darker area. Buried underneath here. here. Just giving this illusion here. So, drapes it. Okay, but now we're going to get some shade going here. So let's get some shade going. And here it's a little darker. Okay. We're going to come up in here. Let's see. Let's see how I'm just pushing harder here. All right. Just follow along here. Just try to. Just try to kind of imagine that you're just creating a kind of a, a shadow effect, you know, to make them look like that drapes. Instead of just one color of a drape, we're just trying to give a little bit more of a dimension to these drapes so they're not quite so boring as in one color, you know. We're just trying to just give it a little bit more pizzazz. A little snazzy pizzazzy. Alright. Oh man, you're busy with my phone today, huh? Sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that. That was my daughter. She's in California. They went to that BTS concert. Alright, so, um, Cali it's a big, uh, it's like a Korean band. It's all, all, it's all the rage, I guess. So anyway, so I'm just you taking this dark purple 
And I just want to give it a little bit of shade here with some dark purple. Just so it has a little bit of shade with this dark purple here. Um, you know, so just put a little dark purple in here and a little bit of dark purple in here. Nice and light first. Because there's going to be a little, you know, it's looking a little, we have a little bit of shade here. A little bit of highlight there. Just trying to get it uh, to look a little bit more, just a little three dimensional, you know, a little texture, a little interest. Just so it's not one color, you know, because anybody could color one color. It's boring. We, we don't want to be boring. Just going to try to try to jazz it up a little bit. Leave some highlight here. So you just kind of play around with it. Don't be afraid. Just there's no reason to. You just put it darker on the on the left side and then just blend it in to the right. Put a little dark here. See. Blend it, put it in. Okay, looks like guys, it's got a nice, nice little highlight to it there in the middle. That's nice. Okay, then let's try um, adding a little bit of indigo blue on the bottom here. Take some indigo blue and let's further give it some schmooze, some pizzazz schmooze, some pizzazz schmooze. <laughs> Is that a word? It just gives it a little bit of another, some more layers, you know. The layers give it a little bit more goodness. I like the layers. Layers give it <clears throat> fun. Layers make it fun. A little bit more interesting than the average bear, right? There you go. This. Again with the it in here. See how I'm just just playing around with it, shading to get it to be how you like it. Just darker spots, you know, just to give it, I could say, a little interest. There you go. All right, and so we'll do this on the whole carpet. You know what I think I want to do? Let's grab some, uh, uh, let's see, what's this color here? Uh, true blue. Let's throw some true, true blue on here a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of true blue in here. Just a little, wherever you want to put it. Um, we gotta we gotta add some of that dark down in here too. All right, just a little bit of true blue, just just a, just a smidge, you know, just to just to again for the interest to give it a little bit of a dimension to the to it, you know, just to give it a little bit of oomph. Okay, yeah. See, it makes it makes it look really just a lot. Just makes it look a really a lot more prettier, you know. Okay, so now let's take do the same thing again here. Let's take the. I'm just gonna do that down in here, and then let's take the um, dark purple. Now, um, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do on this band here, so let's just do the same here with the dark purple, and then I'm gonna just kind of go like that here. And then let's, uh, I'll see what should I do here. Uh, let's just let's maybe make it a little bit darker in here, huh? Because it is going to be, this part here is underneath, so let's make this a little, maybe make a little highlight, I guess, in here. Then maybe here. Okay, and then just. Just, 
See, I'm just kind of giving little nice and light. And then in here, I'm going to do the same, I guess. What if I want to make that really dark? Like it's, I think I will. I think I'm going to fill this whole thing in really dark. Like it's a really nice dark velvet, um, a dark velvet, uh, like a wrap, you know? I don't know. If I ruined it, I ruined it. I'm going to have to maybe darken it up with some black. Uh, let's see. Sometimes I never know my own self how it's going to come out. Not like I practice these. Okay. I'm going to come around here, make it like a little, you know what I mean, like a dark velvet wrap. So I'm going to come around here. I'm pressing hard. I want to get it solid on this part. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a... Yeah, that's fine. That's good. I mean, that's fine. A little, yeah, I make that a little darker. That looks good, I guess. All right. Because bring this up, right? I'll just carry some colors. Just play around with it till you're happy with the your your draperies. That's what my grandma would call them. Your draperies. that darker hair and then uh, take the indigo blue down here give it some okay there you go my eyes are so bad okay all right And if you want to make it darker, whatever, just play around with it till you're happy with where your dark is, where your darks are. You can always go back to it a little later and mess around with it. You know, I usually would do that anyway. When it's done, I can always. You know, when my picture's done, I can always see places where I'm, where I always might want to do a little bit more to it. All right, so do all the drapes, uh, same kind of way, using the same kind of colors. Just have fun with them like this, maybe, and just leave highlights in spots. Okay. Um, now down in here, let's see, what should we do? Down in the fringe area. Um, just trying to think in the fringe. I think we'll keep the fringe. Maybe we'll keep the fringe light. Or don't we? Light and dark, like stripes, maybe? One light, one dark. Um, I don't know. I'll think about what I'm going to do with the fringe at the end. But for now, yeah, because whatever we do with the fringe there would be the same kind of fringe we would do here. Uh... I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I don't know. I gotta give it some thought. I'm gonna wait on doing the fringe right now. But right now, just do these three drapes, okay? So work on these these drapes here. Doing them all the same way. Leave the highlight here. Do it the same way here. Leave the highlight here, okay? Put and put a little highlights in here, okay? And then come back, and I'll do the same thing. Okay, so I just finished my drapes here. Let's uh, go widen out here. So um, I hope you guys had fun doing yours. I just finished all mine here. I just did the same exact thing like you guys did here. So I just added all the colors in there and just kind of just did all the same thing. Now down here, what I did is I just did the, the lavender, the light lavender, and then I used the dark purple on the just on the tips and brought that down. I did the same thing, just exact same thing on the pillow. The only difference I decided is I just put a little bit of black in on the on these tips in here. So if you want to just if you want to just add a little bit of shadow up on the top, if you want, um, you can make 
it a little darker with just a little bit of black if you wanted to um, get a little bit more shade up in here. Um, you can do that with just a little bit of black. Um, I'll probably maybe take a little bit more time if I really want to do a good job on this. And if you really want to do a good job, you know, just take your time and just, you know, you can just uh, do a little bit of shading um, with your black, you know, just to really give it a little bit more uh, depth depth up in here and in here, you know, with the black. Um, maybe even if you want to add a little down in here, you can. It just gives it a little bit more of a a shadow, see, just even just just a little, just to give it a little bit of a little bit of a pop. Okay, um, now um, up here, this is just the lavender, um, and then um, with the dark purple, um, all I'm going to do here is just go along this uh, edge here. Let's see if I can get it so you can see here, or I can still comfortable so I can draw, and just um, let's move it right here. Just go right along the edge, just draw, like dark the edge and just like just bring it out, you know, just just like little circles and just feather it out into the into the middle, you know, just so that it's you know, just the same way you did everything else, just just feather it out into the middle here. Little little teeny strokes, you know, just see just little circles just to you know, you want it. You want it dark in the little crevices, you know, and then just kind of feather it out like that. But dark, dark. Put just what you do is just put put pressure on it as you come along here. Look, see, I'm putting a lot of pressure in here, and then just bring it up and around, you know, just to give it that little the insets, you know, like a like the border. Okay, so do that all the way around. Okay, so just pause it, just pause it and just do that all the way around. And then on this fringe, do the same thing here. Just to take your um, the lavender, just like this, and then just put your lavender in nice and light. Just put it in nice and light. Or whatever you want, any one of these colors or however you think, but I'm just going to do the lavender. And then the same thing with the dark purple on the edges, only what I do is go up here and then just kind of flick it down, okay, like this, just so that it's, see, so that you have a dark up in here and then just kind of flick it like this. Same way we do our um, our flower petals, you know, just flick it down uh, so that it's, or however you want to shade it. Um, you can also uh, shade it this way too if you want. Um, so let's say you want to, I mean there's different kind of ways to shade. Um, so let's say you can also do it like this if you want. Just outline, outline it first and then just, you know, make it darker here and then bring it down. You see it's hard for me to do it like that. For me it's easier just to bring it and flick it down. That's just easier for me. It just seems like it carries it nicer. I don't know. I just For me, I can't do it really any other way. And then you want to make those edges nice and crisp. Especially if you're using a copy, because if you use a copy, sometimes the lines aren't really crisp. Okay? And just add a lot of detail in there so that it's all uh, shaded down like that, okay, and then I think I might just leave those white, like a white little beads across this, the top, you know, like a little white rope across the top, um, so, yeah, and then, uh, and then what we're going to do here on the side, on the, on the edges of these flowers, um, just take your purple and go along the edges of the flowers and then just like I did the pillow. See how I did the pillow? Just go around the flower. And what it does is it just kind of kind of pops it out here a little, see? Just feather it like that. And then just go around. See, just go around the 
Keep it nice and light. See? See, it makes the flower just kind of pop out a little bit. So put shadow, shadows like that around all the flowers. So do the border, finish the border, do this, and then put the uh, shadows around here. Okay? And as soon as you do that, okay, then we'll come back and don't forget your don't forget your pillow. Okay? So do do all so do that and then we'll come back and we will continue on. Alright? So put on some a nice TV show, something funny, or a nice drama, or whatever you like, and then just have a good time. That's the whole point. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Take your time because this is a really, really pretty, pretty picture. It's definitely frame frame worthy. I mean, look at you guys. It's really, 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 really pretty. And when it's done, it's just gonna be gorgeous in a nice in a nice frame. So uh, just take your time. Don't rush it. Just just keep it keep it keep it going. Keep it going and just don't wreck it. Just take your time. If you get tired, just stop for a while and put it away and come back to it, okay? But just take your time. Just take your time and um, don't forget, you know, just go around all these flowers, you know, and just um, finish that up. Just finish it up nice and neatly, you know, but just take your time and don't, don't make it too heavy. Blend it out. Blend it out nicely. Just take your time. All right? Just like that. Go around the whole thing. But so but you now you know what to do, right? Do this, do that, um, and uh, uh, you know what to do. Okay? And then uh, we'll come back and finish it. Ciao.